Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I want to show you some tricks uh, that might help you in the field whenever you get a uh, an assignment that requires you to sketch the, let's say, your uh, other structures, your fence, even a pool sometimes. But, uh, <clears throat> So I have a file here, and you can see that Eagle View was provided, but prior to me going to an inspection, I always want to make sure that I have all my structures, my fences, everything drawn, especially if you're doing things like TUIA, uh, you know, wind claims. Uh, so I uh, already, so let, let me show you. So, you know, I'll go into Google, which I, I, I have a whole video to show you how to import and export this kind of images, right? So I, I go to Google, I save it to my hard drive, I go in here, I import, and so that's the image that I, uh, that I wanna import so that I can draw from. I know, for, I know that uh, from, from this point here to this point here, it is 59 feet, two inches. Okay, so I hit okay, and then I hit okay. I remember, I already showed people how to do this. Now here's where the trick is. This is where Xactimate brought this image in there, but I have to have this image right under here in order to draw the fence, that other structure. That other structure really doesn't matter where it's at. And the fence really doesn't matter where it's at, but I always do everything the way you see it, okay? So let me show you how easy this is to get from this point to this point. So we know that the image has to go from here to here, right? So I'm gonna enlarge this area. Um, if you hit forward slash and you click from this corner to this corner, then that's all you, that's all you have to do. Oh, uh, forward slash is, you go to annotations and I believe, uh, it's this one right here, it's called arrows, okay? so. Uh, if you use that, then you can get this measurement. So what I always do is I go in here, make sure that that's pretty close to the corner of that. Then I go on this corner down here, and and uh, so I want to hide my underlay for right for a second. And I I can see I can move this a little bit there, okay. Um, so now. I can bring my over uh, underlay back. So I know I have to move this and the image, right? To get it right underneath there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this guy right here to this corner. And so there it is, right? So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna put a guide right in that corner. So it's, I hit the S key, and so uh, if you go here, and it's called a snap line. That's how you get, just by hitting that S. Now, okay, so now all I have to do now, I can delete this, I don't need this. This was just to let me know how far I need to go from this corner to this corner. So watch this, once I go right here, I click right here, and now, that should be right on top of each other. Okay, and it is. So a good way to check and to see what's underneath there, if you hit Shift U, oh, excuse me, Shift O, then you can see that that image is right on top where it's supposed to be. Now, now you can go in there and draw your fence. And to draw your fence, all you have to hit is Control F, and then you will just click, click, click I'm going to reduce it down a little bit uh, I might not get this angle just right 
uh, here click 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 and click so there's your, your your fence so when you go there you can double check but you can also go in here and refine it that way when you get there it's going to be pretty close to what you uh you know so now i'm just refining it and let me see what's going on, on this side that looks okay so that looks pretty good now I noticed that there's a uh, a a shed here so at this point you know I, I, I could draw that shed so uh, you know it's at an angle so what I you know what I would do is go in here uh, and then rotate that so that it looked like that so if I go here do a free rotate I can move this and angle it and just finish it off and then also notice that there's a uh, swimming pool there and there it looks like there's also a small little shed right here so we're going to move this out a little bit out and you could even add that little shed there so um and it's a small one so that's gonna have to be rotated too but let me make it as small as it's a real t it's probably it's probably one of those 8 by 10 little sheds uh, so it looks like it's about the same angle as the uh, And so if we rotate, we'll go in here, rotate it, and once we get there, you know, we can actually measure it. So, so there's that little shed, uh, and let's say you had this swimming pool, and you know, you might have to uh, do something with that swimming pool. So, you know, uh, you can measure it while you're there if you want to, or you know, you can just uh go in here and and uh create this pool since it's a round one it this will be an easy one to to uh create so here let's uh oops excuse me <clears throat> here uh, actually the easiest way to do this would be like this um uh, um shift w so we'll go from here to here to here to here and make all those round make it uh an arch tell it yes Get yourself a little pool there, and you can call it pool. Okay, in here, and then if you do all of that. You can delete the the underlayment, the underlay, and you got yourself. Uh, and the reason you see in that purple is because uh, there's something underneath there. Uh, I see. I had already drawn this in a different layer, so that's what that's why you're seeing. That's what that looked like. That I was trying to figure out why that uh, thing was showing up like that. I don't want to delete the uh, roof. 
Let me see what we got. 3D, show all. Oh, we got this thing here and this thing here. Whoa. to delete it here there you go but I thought I'd show you that thanks for watching this video if um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll have some other videos that show you things that uh, kind of help when you're out there in the field thanks